right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who do well, and salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with a quick hit. And uh, this one is a verse of the day. All right, I just uh, actually saw this and said, well, you know, why not just do a quick lesson on it? You know, it's very basic uh, for us brothers who are of the knowing. But, um, you know, for, th for those who are fairly new and waking up to this thing, this thing of ours, all right, which is this truth, all right, it's very needful for you to understand, you know, this scripture here, which is Yahweh Shai speaking, okay? And uh, this is in the book of Luke, chapter 9 and 23 through 24. It says, um, it says, and he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right. So it's all about Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Your priorities. You know what you what you got going on all right every your, your primary priority is that the lord comes first okay so he says if any man will come after me let him deny himself so you got to start over you know we all were raised in this uh god forsaken world under e in this society and we was taught lies you know, we developed pride throughout our years growing up. You know, we was um, sin very sinful, you know, not knowing. And uh, we found a way, all right? Especially when you get through, you know, your uh, elementary school, then you go to high school, you know, and you think you know who you are, you know? You think you that dude, or, or, or if you're a female, you think you that, that bitch. All right, you know that's how the uh, our people carry themselves in this, uh, you know, this uh, wicked vibration. All right, so, but anyway, it says, and he said unto them all, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. So you gotta deny yourself. All right, you gotta not lean upon your own understanding. You know, there's a new understanding of how this world works. You know, when you wake up to this truth. You truly understand and you get the idea, you know, of, of what is going on around you. You know who you are. You know what you worship. You know, as many different um, religions, you know, and the main one is Christianity, where they teach you of a false God. And most of those people who, well, let me say all of those people, unless the elect uh, wake up, you know, through the, uh, throughout all those people, all right? They they um, are deceived and they don't know what they worship. You know they just go with the flow of things. This is why your parents and everybody worship pagan holidays. You know, and some of them may know the origin and truth, but does it matter when the majority is doing it? You know, scriptures say, um, "Follow not the multitude to do evil." You know, our people are very folly. You know, excuse me, our people are very wicked and they love folly. You know, scriptures say folly is setting great dignity, you know, and they got everything backwards. And that's the cause of E, you know, it's the cause of us first for sinning against the Lord and the Most High putting us away, a divorcement, you know, but not forever. But also you have E who wants to further our affliction, you know, who wants to make sure that we don't get back what we lost. And that's the name of the Most High. And that's our true identity as being Israelites. Okay. And being one with the Lord. Alright, so it says that he said unto them all, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. So you gotta take off, you gotta take up your burden daily, man. You have to fight in this truth. You have to fight to stay in the truth, man. Okay, because the uh, Lord speaks about the straight gate, you know, how we have a, a difficult uh, uh, path to get to the kingdom. You know, it's not easy. You're going to have your, your downs and ups. 
your downs and ups, you know? It's gonna get hectic, then everything gonna get smooth. Then it's gonna get hectic, then things get smooth, you know? You have your downs and ups, but you have to fight to remain, you know, sincere, honest, remain with uh, integrity toward the Lord and His Word, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? The brotherhood, you have to, um, you have to fight, man. You have to fight off your own spirit, you know, where, you know, you think you might be right. You know, something you want to do, your lust, the wicked lust demon that come upon you. Now, lusting is not a demon itself, but the wicked lust, you know, fiending and, and lusting after uh, something that is unlawful, you know, like another man's wife. All right. Abominable foods, you know. So he says, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. So you got to do it daily, man. All right. Scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And that's a fight. Giving diligence is the, is the search out, study, work, fighting, you know, fighting to, to do what? To win. We want to win, man. And the only way we can win, all right, is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And as the Lord said, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So our purpose is to be delivered, all right? Our purpose is not to be here, to be a part of a fashion show, you know, to um, make merch out of the Lord's word, you know, um, to go along, to get along, you know, hey, the, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's all about this word, you receiving it. You know, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's about everything else doesn't matter. Okay. And guys get caught up in that. So you don't want to get caught up in that. You know. You just want to be a you want to be more so, you know, and only about this truth. Anything that's carnal, you know, you want to put that to the side, man. Alright? You want to put that to the side. Alright, so it says pick up thou cross daily. All right, it says, um, and follow me. Follow who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got uh, examples of Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, on the earth. You got brothers who follow Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. All right, the apostles and elders are great millstone. The brothers on down, okay? Brothers are giving you the path and the way, the attitude, all right, and the way that you should go, you know, uh, reaching toward Yahweh Shai. You know, so there is uh, a group, let's say there is the Lord's uh, uh, chosen that are actually, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. Don't get caught up in other people, uh, let's say man's philosophy, when they try to trick you and say, well, who got the truth? You know, nobody got the 100% truth. Somebody got to have it. All right. Because if not, then that makes the Lord a liar. You know, you got to you got to use a lot of common sense, logic, you know, you know, spit out the bad, keep keeping the good and spit out the bad, chew the meat, spit out the bones. You know, don't be gullible to every person that come to you with the word. You got to try them first. You know what name they teach in. All right. Is they prophets? Do they prophesize? You know, what's the ways of salvation? Can they teach you the ways of salvation? All right. Um, uh, it says, uh, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Yeah, because if you look to, you know what? Nah, I think that's kind of dangerous. I don't want to jeopardize my family. You know, the boys, they, you know, they on you guys. They watching you guys. And I don't want to die. I don't want to get locked up. I don't want to be falsely accused. Yeah, nah. I'm good. But guess what? You're going to be destroyed anyway. All right? You ain't going to have a chance to be delivered because you didn't never fight. All right? You didn't never choose the Lord first. You chose to save your life. All right? Which the Lord is telling you here. All right? He says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right? You're going to take the chip. You take that mark of the beast, that microchip, whether in the forehead, the brain, the narrow link. Or in the arms, all right, the arm, all right, the radio frequency identification chip. You take that, 
you're gonna be destroyed. All everyone who takes this, all right, who takes the mark of the beast, they they're looking to save their life in this society because they're afraid of E. You know, they're afraid of the powers that be, but not the governing power that runs the universe. You know, they fear man when really you're supposed to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true and living power. So anyway. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, uh, the same shall save it. You know, so losing your life on this side, which, hey, some brothers will lose their life. You know, scriptures say those are being beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. All right, but also do this time before the end, before the evil days come not. You know, which we're really, really right there of the evil days that's come, that's here, it's near. All right, but. Um, you got brothers who have lost their life already because why they gave up the world you know they sacrificed you know it was a point where the Lord made them make a choice you know their woman or the truth their children or the truth their jobs or the truth their career or the truth so brothers all right certain brothers have lost their life all right, because they're looking to save their life through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to leave it with that. I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Till next time.